And I'm getting the sky because it's quite dramatic. Well, hello, folks. That'll be cute, girl. Well, hello, Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, go in before you get cold. Yeah. Was it the right combination? Yeah. Yeah. They forgot to go to the left. It's one of my favorites. in the verandas and what dad refers to as my New Yorker shot and if you oh yeah hey there we go that's the idea Flowers still surviving on October the 10th. Uh, you might even be related to Sir Frederick Borg. Sir Frederick Borg. I said, oh, yes, indeed. So anyway, <laughs> he said, oh, well. Wait for the camera. But I said, <laughs> but be careful when you're in Nova Scotia because you might be related to Blackboard. If you're in your feet, if you're in your feet, I'm going to go to my yard. She said, Grandmother Dora. But do you know what the pig stands for? Pretty intelligent girl. Hey, how about that? And there's the bra shows, I think. <laughs> Is it delicious? Are you going to eat it all? Yeah. Oh, you saved room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to give an appetite, girl. Girl. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Pathetic idiotic girl. <laughs> <laughs> I threw my hands on Robert <laughs> and me. Pig boy. Mom, you taking a picture of me? Trixie. I'm having a Trixie. Hello. Hello. A beautiful boy. A beautiful boy. Bye, 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 Jackie, you're not helping matters, are you? I'm not. Trixie. Well, you know what? Let's set your table. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's turkey day. What time do you want us? To be reasonable and for you to be able to get back in the school from one, <laughs> and uh, your father is going to cut all the turkey and it'll be on the platters. And, uh, and, uh, Sure, like your 
dessert? Joan will love my dessert. Yeah, well that's it, because they may not like key lime pie. Well, I've got two key lime pie. Oh, that's all fun. And Christopher says you're pretty on power. Oh, yeah. Do they use them today? Same thing today, except it's gyro compasses spinning so fast that nothing could upset them. In I those see. days it was magnetic. Mm -hmm. And how did I get it? Good story. How did you get this? I had a friend who was a compass adjuster that I knew in the war, and uh, I called on him after the war, and I said, got a little bit of a binnacle? He said, you got it. <laughs> he works for the Halifax uh, ship there. <laughs> so anyhow, there it is. It's a beautiful one. Well, thank you for your interest, Stephanie, and uh, 
Are there any other artifacts in this area that we, like, I was going to film the boat here. With the blue nose. Oh, yes. And it was built by a very good friend of ours, Joe McDonald, who lives up in Port Gordon. Oh, yes. And the reason his models are so good is because they're so authentic. That's the way fishermen built model boats. The sleek, glossy jobs you see in hotel lounges aren't real models. They're, this is a real model. And, so then, Steph, and the mantle, what's the story on the mantle that it's sitting on? Well, the, uh, I decided that the other farmhouse, we weren't going to use it for help anymore, and we didn't want to, this was during the period of the hippies, and yes. we didn't want them falling asleep drunk and burning the place down. Right. So I said, well, we're going to do, I'm going to get the guy with two bulldozers, and we're going to knock it down, dig a hole in the ground and bury it. But before we do, I'm going to go up and get the mantle. So that's the only souvenir I have from the other farmhouse. Oh, and isn't it beautiful? And it's all made of birch. Mantle. It's a birch. Mantle. Yeah, and oak trim. So this is birch here, and this is oak. And all the, the little... They didn't have machinery to do that. It's all done by hand. So anyhow, step though, there's the story of that. And this is interesting. Yes, equalizer. Well, it's not a double barrel. But look at the size of the shot. Holy mackerel! <laughs> In other words, when you pull the trigger in this, everything in an area like that would be dead. <laughs> this, we found this in the cellar of the old farmhouse up there buried in the clay. Oh my goodness. So I do have two things from it. That's the other one. Now it's staffed me for a birthday present and she bought uh, it in St. Augustine. Oh, it's sweet. But it's sweet. Sailor's right. And it looks very nicely there. And it fits there. the spot. And everything has a boat motif in yeah. here, even the light the light switch cover right here yeah. has a boat. brass boat on it. Yeah. Yeah. And the last, anybody that knows about half models will tell you that's a beauty. Because it's so fine at the stern and the transom, it almost comes to a knife like edge. Yeah. And if it was buoyancy. Yes. But when it's a racing thing or a pleasure yacht, they want speed. Mm -hmm. So the more you find it out here, the faster it'll go there. And you see, mm. it's too fine up forward to, to carry potatoes or turnips or lumber. Mm -hmm. It's to sail over about 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. So the line you're sailing on is like that. And that's just what you see. That's all the boat that's in the water. All the rest is Gosh, sea. amazing. So you can imagine to go pretty quickly. Now, uh, Steph, I can't tell you much more except how nice to be back, mm -hmm. and hopefully it will be in the month of July or August right, well, when right. the weather is more uh, amiable. Amen, amen, I can't say that. But it's certainly been invigorating. I do, oh, I do like, I, I, I like the um, the autumn, yeah. and it, oof, it would be nice if it was warmer. But my consolation is I live in Florida, so this is not like you well, know the you, end. You'll get the heat before we do. Yep. Well, Steph, cute. It looks like a porthole. This, this is all. This is a match holder from, from the ferry that went across from Picto to Charlottetown. Oh. In those days, the men smoked pipes and cigars. Yeah. They'd have all the matches in here, you see. And the man would just, in the smoker, just reach his finger and pull out a match and snap it on the side. Were women allowed in the smoker? No. God. <laughs> it must have been many years ago. <laughs> well, you're talking 1888, 1890. Yeah. Bless your heart. Well, thank you, Dad.